Yeah, what a night to be a Spartan with that 31 nothing victory over the Hornets. We already knew Big Speed deserved to be ranked number one, but man, they are really proving it every week. It's just an impressive victory tonight. Well, they prove it with the defense tonight. Uh, it's funny, uh, you're pretty good when you score 31 <laughs> points and everybody wants to know where the points are. <laughs> and uh, they were averaging 65 points a game. I didn't realize it was that high, but I went back and added it up. And uh, boy, what, what a performance. Um, yeah. And, and you mentioned the defense a little bit there. Going into this game, yeah, everybody talking about the 65 points a game that they're averaging, but they were only giving up 15.25, and most of that was in that Mansfield game at the beginning of the season. They'd only allowed 17 points to Oklahoma teams. Still only allowed 17 points. Is this the best big speed team out of this five-year run where they've made the state title game every year? Well, you, you with, with the teams with Nick Roller, it's hard to say they're better. And really, they, uh, you know, graduated elite players on defense last year. Mm -hmm. But the Presleys are just electric. And I, 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 what, what big speed team has beaten Jinx by 50 points? Yeah, it, it's been pretty amazing. Now it's going up to class 6A1, Broken Arrow with a big win over Norman, coming off that win over Jinx, you know, they lost uh, earlier to Owasa, but they're, they're right in their ship here in district play. I th you know, I, th I think the die is cast, it's, it's pretty much uh, elementary at this point. You would think that Broken Arrow and Jinx would, would go ahead and win out. Now Jinx may have a, a tussle with Norman, uh, but the big thing was that Norman had a chance to maybe get in the mix in the semifinals this year, and they're going to have to beat somebody that they haven't proven they can beat. And tonight was their night to prove that, and they didn't get it done. They fell short. And real quick, Central, you had a story about them for the paper today, but the Braves improved to 5-0 and tonight with a win over Mulder. 5-0, and, and and as I said, how can you not like a team with a kid named Punchy Wilson? <laughs> <laughs> KT Wilson is, is uh, KT Owens is really worth seeing the quarterback and uh, Desmond Clayton moves from uh, uh, Langston Hughes well, what a pickup rush for 150 yards last week so uh, yeah I, I think they're pretty legit we'll find out they play Poto and Broken Bow the next two weeks. It'll be interesting to see. Make sure you pick up a Tulsa World tomorrow to read Mike Brown's story on the Fox 3 game of the week here. Bixby knocking off Booker T. Luke.